Hey everybody, welcome back to Prescription Bourbon. I'm DMC from Louisville, Kentucky. Today I'm doing a fresh bottle pop Friday of Copper and Kings blended straight Kentucky bourbons finished in apple brandy barrels. All right, so I've done, I think, one other video where I fresh cracked a bottle on and tasted it on stream. Um, this is my second one. I'm hoping to maybe start a, a regular series here. I, I called it Fresh Bottle Pop Friday. Um, this bottle, unfortunately, I actually cracked a few minutes ago and my video messed up. So um, it's not a true fresh pop, but I'm going to you know, open this guy up. Pull this off and give this a pop and give it a pour. So, a little history here. Um, it's a nice, good amber dark color there. Uh, Copper and Kings is located here in Louisville, Kentucky. And it was, as I see on the label here, um, established in 2014. So, um, I wasn't 100% sure when it started. I was thinking it was at least 10 or 12 years old, but it does say established 2014. They basically are a brandy distillery, so they, you know, they, they've been around. They, they distill a lot, uh, primarily brandies. You know, they might have some other spirits that they do, but um, I know they have some low-end and some high-end brandies, um, which, is, which is exciting stuff. Uh, this is their first bourbon release. I'm not 100% sure if they're distilling any of their own uh, whiskey or bourbon yet and aging it, but um, this was all sourced from other distilleries and then aged and barreled, you know, blended, aged and barreled by them. This does say it's a small batch, 111 proof, sonic aged. And let me and let me read the uh, read the barrel here. I'll I'll uh, I'll let y'all look at it there a little bit. All right, so this reads, an amped up blend of Kentucky straight bourbon whiskeys finished in American apple brandy barrels made with our favorite bourbons. This is a blend that pushes flavor forward, a remix of Kentucky distilling traditions that no one saw coming. Yeah, very cool. So, you know, my, my research has showed me that this is probably a blend of three different distillates um, from three Kentucky distillers. It does say on the label, a blend of Kentucky, you know, uh, straight bourbons. So that we know they're all from the Kentucky. I believe over 60% of this is from Barstown Bourbon Company, um, at least five years old from them. And then the other 30 something percent is from both Barton's and Heaven Hill at both 10 and 12 years of age. So, I mean, those are some pretty good specs on this. Um, they're all Barstown uh, distillers. Um, and it's a mix of, you know, five to 12 year old bourbons. Nothing wrong with that at all. Um, the majority of it's probably closer to five years, but there is some 10 and 12 year stuff in here. So, super cool. Um, this is a small batch. So, I, I believe there was, there's about a, uh, Somewhere, I believe it's close to 2,000 bottles in this batch, so that's probably around eight to ten barrels is is what went in here. So it's not a not a super huge batch. Um, it does uh, come in at 111 proof and does say Sonic aged, and that's kind of cool with uh, Copper and Kings in general. They Sonic age their brandy also, so they they pump music or sound at it, and those vibrations of those sound waves. Um, make the distillate go in and out of the wood and it may add to some more rapid aging or give you some older stuff quicker. You know, similar to like Jefferson's Ocean Age where they put barrels on boats that, that rock in the water and the sloshy in and out or um, old Forester, you know, uh, warehouses from Brown Foreman where they do the heat cycling, which introduces... Um, you know, seasons that, that, you know, faster than normal, you know, so that where they, where they heat and let it naturally cool, heat and let it naturally cool, naturally cool, 
uh, multiple times of the year. So instead of relying on just four seasons, they can introduce extra seasons. And you get that in, that soaking of the distillate in and out of the wood and all that. So, so they do the, do the sonic aging. And yeah, we'll, we'll see what we get. But um, you know, super, super stoked about this. It's super exciting. So going on the nose. It's a nice nose on this. Definitely getting some fruitiness. I might not immediately have called this apple if I didn't know this was apple brandy. I can see see the appleness in here. Got some cinnamon and smoke on the nose also. So definitely a nice nose. It's not uh, it's not an underwhelming nose. It's, it's definitely a vibrant nose. So. It's a plus right off the bat. It's going for a taste. Cheers. My first sip of this, as I said, 111 proof. It's definitely got the heat, definitely some spiciness there. Yeah. So there's definitely some some warmth going down, some some heat in, in the mouth. You can feel that spiciness. It's it's a definite a cinnamon cinnamon red hot spiciness. There's some sweet there on the front end, on the on just on the fringes of the tongue. There there is an apple flavor going on there. So um, you know, kind of a stewed apple cinnamon apple going on. I, I get the apple more on the on the finish. Uh, I don't get it up front, um, but just sitting here talking and, and letting that finish it finish in my mouth and whatnot. I'm definitely getting some stewed apple, cinnamon apple on the finish, which is nice. So I haven't, I haven't drank a whole lot of apple brandy before. I did do a, a video, I'll, I'll post it, but um, where I, I had a Nulu, um, apple brandy finished Nulu, which was finished in an, a Copper and King's apple brandy barrel. And then also a Starlight apple brandy barrel finished um, up, you know, head to head. Um, I don't think either one of them really stood out as, as, ex, as exceptionally better than the other. They, they were both good. Um, and, you know, that's probably the extent of apple brandy that I've had. I don't think I've had any straight apple brandy. I am a brandy fan. So brandy, cognac, that sort of stuff. I, I am a fan of, of brandy and cognac. Sweeter, that, that sip. Um, you know, after after my palate's adjusted here and all that, and I just took another sip. Super sweet. There's some oakiness there. You can definitely, I can I can definitely feel a little bit of dryingness on the tongue, but um, that cinnamon spice is all over the tongue. So the the sweet did hit front. Um, it wasn't appley. It was just just a sweetness, cinnamon spice, oak drying. And you know, the apple comes comes late. It's just on the on the finish. I get this uh, this apple flavor on the finish and all that. So nice. Now, where can you get this? Ah, uh, you know, you can get it here in in Kentucky, here in Louisville for sure. You can get it at the distillery. Yeah, I really do hate doing reviews of, of very special bottles that that have no distribution and all that. This is probably the least distributed bottle I've ever done a review of. So, you know, if you come to Kentucky, you know, to, to do the Bourbon Trail or to for to visit for a reason, you, know, you might be able to find this around. I'm sure it's in some surrounding states too. Hopefully, wherever um, Copper and Kings brandy is distributed, maybe maybe they have this bourbon also. I don't know, but uh, I have a feeling it's very limited release, very limited dis distribution. I read somewhere that MSRP on this might have been like sixty dollars. I picked this up at a local Kroger store for fifty dollars. So for fifty dollars, knowing what's probably in this, you know, five-year Barstown Bourbon Company um, distillate, and then some 10, 12 year twelve-year um, 
Heaven Hill and Barton stuff. Yeah, it's it's pretty nice, pretty nice sip. Uh, very enjoyable. It's um, you know sweet and spicy, not overpowering in any aspect. I mean, it's not overpowering in the in the heat, 111 proof. It's not overpowering in the spiciness or the or the apple brandy part of it. Um, that's really just a subtle, you know, nice finish to it all. It's uh, very well done. Cheers to Copper and Kings on this one. All right, everybody, I hope you liked what you saw here. Hit that like button if you liked what you saw. And if you did like what you see, think about hitting that subscribe button. It really helps. Uh, appreciate that. If you want to see some more videos from the channel or don't, don't want to miss what, any content I have coming out, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Leave some comments down below. I love the comments. I love to have a discussion with uh, people watching this on if they've had this before, if they if they can find this, can't find this. If they've tried, if you tried Copper King's brandy or never seen it or heard of it before, let me know. American brandy, you know, is mostly probably from California, so it's cool that there is a, an American brandy company here in Louisville, Kentucky. All right, everybody, remember. All bourbon is whiskey, but all whiskey is not bourbon. The best bourbon comes from Kentucky. And we're making some pretty good brandy and doing some great whiskey blends also. Cheers.